Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make your website faster using WordPress plugins and a unique hack that most people don't even know you can do, especially for uh, allowing your images to run much faster on your website and not use up bandwidth on your site, making it load faster. So, okay, this is one of the themes that comes with the course that I just recently launched called WP Affiliate Suite. And right now it does pretty decent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna use three different um, tools here to test the speed of it. So these are the three that are most recommended online. So we'll use this one, paste it in here, and then also for Google. And we're gonna let those run. Now, while we do that, I'm gonna talk about the little image hack that I use lots of times, especially when I have really big images that I wanna put on my site because that's one thing that can really hurt the speed of your site is using really large images. You wanna have your images only the size that you really need them to be. So we're gonna go ahead and let those run. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you this little image hack that I use for large images. So what I do is I use this tool here called Imgur and you can go to imgur.com forward slash upload. And what you wanna do is go ahead and click browse and add an image. I'll just pick this one. I'll just pick this one here, click open. Okay, now after it uploads this image, it gives you a link here that you can copy and share. But the problem is when you share this link, it's gonna take them to a page that looks like this. There's gonna be little images and banners here. Basically it takes you to Imgur's website. And we don't want that. We just want to be able to take this image and use it on our website the way it is. So what you can do is you wanna click on this image one time. You see the magnifying glass that says plus. And then when it does that, you wanna right click on the image and choose open in a new tab. Now, when it does this, it's gonna give you a different link. And this link is only for this image itself, even though it's still being hosted on Imgur's website. So what you can do is you can take this link and you can use it for your HTML code on your WordPress site. And this website here will be hosting this image instead of your own website. So this is what I do for really large images. Uh, just to really help my site uh, fast uh, to be faster to speed up and not to take near as long to load. So that's the little trick there. Now let's look at the results we got so far from here. So from Pingdom, we can see we got a grade of 71 and we have some Fs on a few things here. And if we go to GT metrics, uh, we have a D, 64%, 5.4% load time. You can see we got Fs and then we have also uh, Google's telling us for mobile we got 53 and for desktop 93 okay so we definitely need to improve both of those so what we're going to do and what you can do is you can go into your WordPress dashboard and go to your plugins click on add new and you can click or you can type in cache and you're going to see a bunch of free plugins and any one of these free plugins are is, is going to help to speed up your website okay uh, this is the one that I used for a long time and I actually, uh, let's see here, I have, this is the one that I have installed right now and I, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit about it. You can see there's over a million downloads. Here, here's another one and there's a few others that I've used but the problem is, is that you normally have to upgrade to get the full benefit from them and most of them is going to cost you quite a bit of money. In fact, this one here, the one that I prefer is actually $99 a year which is really expensive. And so that's why I've only used the free version of it up until now um, when I found another plugin that you guys are absolutely going to love. And I'll talk about that here in just a minute. But with this plugin here, let me go back to my plugins and activate it. And most of these that you find, they are going to have a ton of different options that are just kind of overwhelming. Okay, so if we go back, let me go back to my plugins. And if we go down to the W3 total cash and I click on settings on the left hand side, first of all, you're going to see all this stuff. Now, even for me, someone who's been doing WordPress sites for a very long time, I don't understand half this stuff or what it means because I don't really understand the back end stuff of WordPress and how all that works. And so as you're going through here and you're reading about this stuff about Minify, opcode, database, object browser, you know, most people has no idea what this means. They, they, they don't know what options to select here. I don't even know what options to select here. And so it can be very confusing knowing what you're supposed to be using and what's going to help or what's really going to hurt your site. 
And so why would I do this and then to get additional speed pay another another $99 a year for it? So, you know, I mean for a long time that was my option and that's what I done. So what I've done since then, let me go back to my plugins and let me deactivate this. And I'm actually going I'm not going to delete it yet. But is this plugin here called Viper Cache? And I'm going to put a link below this video where you can pick this up. And if you do happen to pick it up, I do get a small commission for it. Um, in return, I'm going to give you guys some extra bonuses, some articles, uh, hundreds of thousands of articles actually for content that you can use on your website. You can rewrite them, have somebody else rewrite them, whatever you want to do with them. Uh, but this is so easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead in here to my cache settings. And this is all it is, okay? So there's no hundreds of options, different settings. Everything is built in that you need and everything is already set by default what should be set. And all you have to do is tick this button on and that's it. Now if you scroll down, you're gonna see where they do have a few advanced options here if you if you understand this kind of stuff. Um, I don't even understand that, so I don't worry about it. I just, leave, I, I just turn it on and then I save changes. And now what I'm going to do is come back up here and we're going to redo these speed tests. So remember, uh, this one's 71. Uh, let me actually take screenshots of these because I want to compare how all of these work out. So give me just a minute. Okay, so I took screenshots and added uh, each one of these on here. And then what I'm going to do is after we rerun the test, I'm going to show them below so we can compare. And you can see the difference that uh, this plugin makes simply by clicking the one button and turning it on. So we'll do start test. And up here, we're going to retest and click analyze. And we're going to go ahead and let these run. It's going to take a few minutes now. Let me tell you just a little bit about this product. Okay, so here's my full review on this product. And it, I got a lot of content on here that you guys can read about, um, you know, more about how it works and everything. Um, but when you come to this page and if you click on to learn more or to buy, it's going to take you to the website. And there's a video here you can watch and it's it's going to speed up your website there's just no doubt about it and you can read over all this content that's on here and you can see examples that they've done the results that they've got but if you go to the pricing and the sales option they're offering a special deal where it's like 37 dollars and you can use it on your own sites it's for a personal license it comes with tutorials which you really don't need any um, but it's a one-time payment of 37 dollars and you can use it for up to 25 websites so this is perfect for you guys if you're building out several multiple um, affiliate sites and, and you want the speed to really be boosted in them because this will do it and it's extremely affordable. This is my go-to plugin that I use now for making my websites faster. And that is because you can see here we now have a score of 89. So let me take a screenshot of this and paste it on my uh, PowerPoint. And then we'll go to this one. We now have an A of 91. So we're gonna copy this and paste it. And then we'll go to Google and see what they gave us. So we'll go over here. And we now have a 76, which is huge for mobile because we had a 53 before. So we're gonna paste that. And then for desktop, we now have a 98 simply by ticking one button and not having to worry about anything else on there. So let me go ahead and drag this over so you guys can see the comparison here. So the first result, we went from a C to a B, a huge jump from 71 to 89. The file size was reduced. The number of re requests it had to make was greatly reduced. Um, this one here, we can see it went from a D to an A at 64% to a 91. The load time was less, and then on Google itself, we can see the difference between mobile, which is 53 to a 76, and then a 93 to a 98. So that is the difference this plugin can make, and I know a lot of you guys are struggling with you know, trying to make your website faster because it does have a huge impact on your website rankings for your sites. So you wanna make sure you do whatever you can to speed up your website. And so I recommend using any, any, any ways you have with reducing your image size. And I, I highly recommend you try to make the images the right size for your website. There's different tools you can find online. Just search for online photo editing, image editing, and you can find tools that allow you to resize, re-edit, do that kind of stuff. 
uh, and also grab this plugin. Like I said, it's it's 37 bucks, guys. You can use it on up to 25 websites, and you just click a button, and it automatically optimizes all those settings for you, so you don't have to mess with it. So that link will be below this video if you want to check it out. Remember, if you do happen to buy it through my website, you'll also get the bonuses on that page. It's just a, a special way of me saying thanks for buying it through my link because I do get a small affiliate commission for it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thanks.